Hi everybody, thank you for joining. Tomorrow my office will be hosting the 15th annual New York Farm Day in Washington. For those of you who aren't familiar with Farm Day, this is one of the best days of the year on Capitol Hill. It's a day when farmers and other agricultural producers from around New York State come down to Washington to show Congress how important New York's agriculture industry is for our country. Many of my colleagues aren't aware that New York is one of the major farm states in the nation. Farm Day gives New York's agricultural community a great opportunity to showcase some of the best made in New York food and beverages from around the state. This includes the famous wine ice cream from the Finger Lakes, chocolates from Manhattan, and cheeses from every corner of the state. But Farm Day isn't just about letting people taste New York's agricultural products, although that's an important part of the event. Farm Day is also a chance for New York's agricultural community to have their voices heard about the issues that affect them and their farms. Over the summer, I traveled across the state to listen to our agricultural community and hear their concerns and their ideas about how to make things better. We spoke about the work we need to do to help our dairies deal with the low milk prices. This is a crisis that our dairy producers and I told them that I will continue fighting in the Senate Agriculture Committee for the assistance they need. We also spoke about the need to make crop insurance work better for New York farmers. We need better programs for specialty crop growers like malting barley and garlic, and we need a whole farm revenue insurance program that works for our diversified operations too. This is especially important now that a drought has affected so many producers and farmers around New York. And we also spoke about the urgent need to address the shortage of farm labor across the state. New York's farmers want to do the right thing when it comes to labor. They need timely approvals that can help them get the labor they need to pick and plant on time and a workable solution for year-round dairy operations. The next farm bill is still three years away, but we're already think thinking about what should go into the bill to make it as strong as possible. I'm looking forward to continuing these conversations tomorrow at New York Farm Day, and of course, I'm also looking forward to trying the delicious foods and beverages that our agricultural community has worked so hard to produce.